Oh, I'm calling out. He's spraying Pam underneath his... I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, whatever. Super Bowl 51 is on Sunday, and we have our good friend Chef Jess of Soul Food, personal chef service here and to make she, some more things with bacon. She, she too, loves the water chestnut and bacon. And it's this the is a bacon item. Yeah, well... This is crazy. So you're doing the same thing. You're throwing in something extra. Yeah, have you all ever heard of millionaire bacon? Say again. Millionaire bacon. Clearly not. So basically, you take your bacon and you cut it in thirds. Okay. This is six tablespoons of brown sugar. Okay. If you want to throw in, that's a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a teaspoon of black pepper. All right. And you up. just mix it up. And yeah. so it gives you that sugar and spice Ooh, kick. Everything okay. nice. Yeah. yeah. And so we're going to take our bacon, okay. drench it in that sugar and spice mixture, but then we're going to put um, a piece of pineapple. So you just take a can of pineapple wow. slices, cut them into quarters, okay. and then a can of water chestnuts that's sliced. Yeah. So you just have a thinner that piece. So all you do is you drench the uh, okay, so just bacon in there. Yep. And this is a great Super Bowl snack because it's bacon. It's also something that you can make ahead of time, pre-bake really? it, and then uh, warm it up right before your party. So then all you do is you just put it together. And a few months. Do you mind spraying oh, that? No, bit? I don't yeah, mind go at ahead. All. This, this it's one. Time here? now, yes. There yeah. You go. This thing isn't like on. Right? It's not so on. It's going to do flamethrower type thing. Well, let's see. I don't know. It's only hope. No. <laughs> is that too much? No, that's perfect. So all you do is lay it on there. You do it at 350 for 30 Robin, minutes. Robin, I've got your hairspray. Okay. Yeah. He's already tried to use it as deodorant, but that didn't work out so well. So you want to make sure that your Super Bowl snacks are finger foody. Mm -hmm. And people do wings, but this is something that's going to be different and fun for everybody. And, you know, food on a toothpick is always really good. Yeah, plus they're wondering what it is, right? I mean... This is kind of... If you've ever heard of the uh, dish rumaki, it's a uh, liver and water chestnut. Oh. But who, who wants liver? Yeah, yeah, no. Go yeah. with the pineapple, because that's better. So, so people then, put liver on this. Well, traditional rumaki is with liver. Okay. Yeah, okay. but we're doing this. And you know how some people will do um, little smokies, those little sausages? Yeah, yeah. Right. I feel like that's too much meat and takes away from the bacon. Okay. And I want and the bacon taste to come it's through. It's too easy to do. The little... This is, the little... <laughs> this is easy, too. You can, you can do no, this. No, the other one's too... But... How long do we bake it at what temperature? 30 minutes at 350, okay, and it awesome. comes out like this. Come and on, you guys Todd. can try and see if oh, you like it. We certainly will. Your Remember, website is soulfoodpersonalchef.weebly.com. I've got a cooking class in February at the Cutting Edge Classroom. Um, oh, and yeah, that's good. there'll be some more coming up. So the, wait for the kick. There's a little kick yeah. to it. Is that <laughs> the dressing room? Yeah. All right. It, that. it take, makes it taste better. Here you go. Thanks so much for coming oh, on. Yeah. Oh, Those are delicious. So we had these earlier with just the water chestnut. She's added pineapple. You know this or not, but today is National Beer Day. Yes, it is. Also kick off a baseball season. We'll talk about that a bit more later. But this is Jess, one of our favorites from Soul Food. And we are making a mini pretzel dog or mini pretzel dogs in yes. honor of this day. Yeah. I was trying to think of a good recipe using beer. Okay. And so lots of people cook with wine. Not so many people cook with beer. You can put beer. I make like a good Jager schnitzel where there's beer in the sauce with your pork chop. Um, this one is a good. beer infused pretzel dough. Ooh. So most people make pig, pigs in a blanket, but this is a little different because we're using pretzel dough. So I'm putting three quarters of a cup of beer. Any particular type any of beer? Any brand. Try not to pick a spicy beer. Okay. Um, Light, have, dark. That doesn't really matter. Okay, yeah. yeah, it's like the, it's the flavor you're going for. Okay. In, in there, you're putting sugar, and you're also going to put yeast. And what that's going to do is let the yeast eat the sugar and like kind of bloom. How long does that take? It just takes five minutes. Okay. We're going to fast forward though. We're going to then add bread bread flour, mm -hmm. and to that we'll add some salt. Then you let. Uh, last thing is butter. Okay. You would put that in a bread machine. Um, if you don't have a bread machine, you can do uh, by hand, by KitchenAid. Um, if you go to my website, you can contact me. I'll give you the specific directions. I just highly recommend everybody just get a bread machine. It's yeah, way it's easier. easier. <laughs> so meanwhile, you are going to put baking soda, okay. two thirds uh, cup in two thirds. 10 cups of okay. water. And that is what makes pretzels. Oh, Did wow. I do it too fast? Oh. <laughs> I wanted the drama. No, that's good. You did. This happens a lot at my house. I mean, I'm not surprised, but I hate that it happened on your segment. Oh, you're fine. Um, oh, boy. Sorry. So, no, go. We're okay. going to boil. Oh, wait, wait. We're going to make the best of this. After. So, what you do is this dough is going to come ready. Got it. You roll it out. Okay. Nine hot dogs. All you do is roll it up. Uh-huh. And then after you roll it up, seal it in. 
really it. well. You would take the done one, cut it in half. Cut it again. Cut it. So it's total six pieces. Cool. Bite size. Got it. Yep. Put it in right something here. that won't splash in your face. And now? And then put it on. Put the whole thing down in there? Yep. Let Just, me ask before You're okay. Do. You're okay. Whew. Let's see. Is there more magic? Okay. I don't know. I'm not promising any magic. How long? Uh, 30 seconds. Oh. Whoa. Okay. 30 seconds are done. Now we're ready. You okay. tell me that. Okay. This is how television works. Yeah. So now what now we I do cook. is we take all of those. Okay. We brush it with an egg wash. Like right here. Yep. And that's okay. just one egg. And the reason why we do that is to get it that golden brown color. Okay. Um, and after we brush it, we put, this is coarse salt. You can use sea salt. Mm -hmm. You can use uh, kosher salt. So whichever coarse salt you want. Okay. And that gives you that pretzel -y, salty soap flavor. an egg wash. That it's fine. A little more than brushing there. Yeah. Okay, so just, just, just sprinkle it on. Sprinkle it on. Got yep. it. And then what you would do is uh, make them all lined up pretty. Oh. And then okay. you would bake it in a 450 degree oven. We, pr we did that already. Yeah, so they look great. Now you have your pretzel dogs and like a nice grainy mustard to eat with it. Did I set this oven off? It's beeping. I'm sorry. I hear somebody's <laughs> broken. It's okay. It's fine. So, so that's the finished product. And yeah. tell me about the, is that, that is a mustard? Thing? That's just a grain mustard. Okay. Some people are ketchup people, but because it's pretzel-y, that's why I thought that mustard would go better with that. And so since it is National Beer Day, you could drink your beer and have your pretzel dogs. I'm just straight up want oh. my pretzel dogs. Okay, that's great so. though with the, the, the dough made from, from beer or pretzel dough. Yeah. Um, easy to do. Yeah, and you can make these ahead of time, freeze them, mm -hmm. and then you could uh, put them straight in the oven to warm it up. And they're great for kids, like throw them in the car, throw your kids in the back seat of the car, and then throw pretzel dogs at them and keep them quiet and they awesome. can eat. Awesome. So this is not typically something that I would do for a personal chef uh, job, but if there's something specific like that, the people to, uh, give me requests okay. and I can do special can, things like that. She can like do that. anything. Yeah. Me, on the other hand, I cannot. So call this <laughs> You lady, did great. Yeah. yeah. I won't be cooking with you anytime <laughs> soon, I'm sure. Well, thanks so much for coming yeah. on. Always fun. Great ideas. Thanks. Pretzels, uh, dogs for the National Beer Day. Thanks again. Thanks. All right. Well,